Well, because my wife and I are Amazon Prime members, we got to go see Jumanji early. I'm super excited to dive into it. Welcome to Durbania, I'm Durbin, and this is my spoiler-free review for Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. I had way more fun with this movie than I was expecting expecting to have and I thought I was gonna have a good time with it because the trailers were pretty darn hilarious when I heard announced that they were making this I was like yeah whatever and when I watched that first trailer it just it made me laugh so much oh my god ah! you better get in there and save her I'm not gonna get in there you get in there I got a backpack on you don't get in water with a backpack everybody knows that so I was really excited to dig into this movie see what this movie was gonna be and it did not disappoint now, there's the positives, there's the negatives, but I had so much fun with this movie, I feel like the positives totally outweigh the negatives. So, in the positive columns of this movie, it was just funny. And when I say it was just funny, like, my concern with a lot of comedies is that all the funny parts are in the trailer. And that was not the case with this movie. Now, I was getting kind of nervous because, you know, as the movie opened and they first get sucked into the game and all that stuff, like, I was seeing a whole bunch of the stuff that was in the trailers and I was like, oh no. Oh, please don't tell me all the funny stuff was in the trailers. And it wasn't. It was like really cool to see all the other stuff that they had. But the other thing that was cool, even the stuff that was in the trailers, it was hilarious in the trailer. But then inside the context of the movie, it feels like the joke wasn't ruined because we saw it on the trailer. Like putting it in the context of this film, putting it in the context of the story and the events that are happening, it was just as funny, if not funnier, knowing the other stuff that was going on around things. Um, another thing that was just so positive and so great about this movie was all the characters. And you get the idea in the trailer. It's these high school kids, they're in detention, and you know, you have the typical blonde who always has her cell phone on her, always Instagramming, you know, super hot, super in her own little bubble, all that thing. The other girl that's really shy, you have the jock, and then you have the nerd, and then they all have bodies that are like opposite what they are in Jumanji. So like, it was really cool because when you see them as the kids in high school, like, they did a good job introducing you to their personality so you knew these characters before they get sucked into the game and you get this in a relatively short time. So I thought that was a really cool thing that they did. And so by the time, you know, they're all the grown-ups and they're all, you know, in the jungle and all that stuff, like you understood their personalities, you understood who was who, and you had enough of a reference and a framework for it that it was funny when you saw them in their new bodies. It was funny when you saw them trying to like do things in their new bodies. like. It was just funny, like, so it was just so well done, and I have to say, all the characters were really good. I mean, The Rock did a great job in his role, Nebula, she did a great job in her role, yeah, it was Nebula from Guardians of the Galaxy. And Kevin Hart, the dude was stinking hilarious in this. I mean, The Rock and him worked so well together, and they worked so well together in this, it was awesome. Don't let this new body get your butt whooped. But Jack Black stole the flippin' show for me, man. He was hilarious in this show. And really, you only get like the tip of the iceberg in the trailer because, you know, he's the blonde girl. The blonde girl that lives in her own bubble thinking she's all that, and now she's this middle-aged pudgy man. Don't look at it. No! I'm an overweight middle-aged man. Jack Black takes this to such a great level in this. I had so much fun with just his character and I can't tell you the jokes because then that would be spoilers so I'm not gonna tell you that but it was just hilarious what Jack Black did and for me he stole the show man I thought he was hilarious so I had a lot of fun and I think what I really liked about this movie is it was a comedy you know there's those movies that claim they're comedies but they're really dramedies which is just another word for saying we're super serial and super dramatic, and we're gonna try to make you cry with a little bit of a funny situation, but it's really about all the drama. Or you have those other comedies that are so crude, and I'm not a prudy person, I'm not, I promise you I'm not, but there are just some comedies that are so crude, you get to the point where it's like, all right, I can't take another fart joke, are you done? For the love of Pete, this is not that. Like, this is a genuine comedy. And it's a breath of fresh air. I just had so much fun watching this. Now, if I was going to take the negatives of this, it was a little predictable. 
I don't even care about that. And my wife and I, we were going back and forth in the car. We we're wondering how funny would this movie be on a second viewing? Like now that we've seen all the jokes and seen all that stuff, would it be just as fun in another viewing? And I was wondering that when I was thinking about this review, is this a movie that I would buy on Blu-ray? And I really don't have an answer for that right now. And I feel like I should, but I don't because like, I, I really don't know what this movie would be like on a second viewing. I don't know if it would be as funny. But what I can tell you is that first viewing, this movie was stinking hilarious. I think this movie is a breath of fresh air. I just had a lot of fun with it. And I think if you saw this on the big screen, I think you'd feel the same. I mean, if you liked the original Jumanji with Robin Williams in it, there's a few little Easter egg throwbacks to that one and things like that. I mean, nothing obvious and nothing like too big, but there are some Easter egg throwbacks to it that are kind of fun to pick up on and things like that. So if you like that original Jumanji, I see no reason why you wouldn't like this one. Even if you didn't like that Jumanji, they do enough unique and different things with this one that I think this one is worth the shot. I think in the end, I'm going to give this one probably an A-. I just, I had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was a breath of fresh air. I like the fact that it wasn't a dramedy. I like the fact that it didn't cross this line of being so crude that it's like, all right, I get it, okay? You've hammered it home. You can be crude for the sake of being crude. No, it was just fun. So I'm excited that I got to see this early. When you get the chance to see it, December 20th, when this movie opens, I cannot wait to talk with you about it. So in the comments, let me know, are you excited to see this movie? If you got to see this movie, because of when you're watching this, tell me what you thought. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button to become a Durbanian. Next to the subscribe button is the bell. Click it so you're notified the moment I drop new videos like movie reviews like this and theological analyses, ranking videos, and all the other really fun stuff that I do here. I'm Durbin. Thanks for checking out Durbania.